Good morning, my friend. And it's Wednesday. Happy hump day. And now I'm going to do something completely different. Sounds like a Monty Python line. I'm going to celebrate Wednesday whimsy, and I want you to celebrate with me. That being said, I am going to be doing a research analysis, and I want you to participate in this process, if you will. Now, I refer to left brain and right brain coming up in some of the uh, content of this video. And I want you to understand that it is a proverbial right brain versus left brain. We know through neuroscience, the brain does not work on one hemisphere or the other, but rather a blend of both. So right brain traditionally being creativity and the left brain being traditionally analytical. The reality of the centers of the brain do not operate that way based on new neuroscience research and research that I need you to help me with. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to give you, uh, you know, some time, but I want you to think of which one of these five shapes reflects your temperament, reflects your personality, okay? We have the circle. In the center, we have the square. To the left, we have the triangle. Down below, we have what we call the squiggle. And to the right of that, we have the rectangle. So I'll give you a few seconds to take a look at each one of the shapes and decide which one best represents your personality. Go ahead. Okay, your time's up. What I want you to do is in the comments down below when we're done with the exercise, what shape you picked, and then tell me if what I tell you about that shape, about your personality, is accurate a little bit, mostly, or not at all. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so I don't have these memorized, so I'm going to read them to you. And we'll start with the circle. If you chose the circle, the circle embodies the essence of harmony. Those who gravitate towards this shape hold a genuine interest in fostering positive interpersonal relationships. For the circle, the paramount value revolves around people and their overall well-being, making it the most altruistic among the five shapes. Acting as a cohesive force within a team or a family, circles serve as the binding agent, imparting stability to the group and possess a remarkable capacity for compassion and empathy. Aww. Circles not only feel the joys and sorrows of others profoundly, but also internalize them as if they were their own. They operate as a right brain, proverbial right brain thinker, emphasizing creativity and emotional depth over strict logic. Their information processing approach resembles a mosaic marked by non-uniform patterns. The hallmark of the cognitive style rests in a concentration on the subject facets of any given issue. Are you a circle? Well, let's continue. Perhaps you're a square. Haven't heard that since the 60s. <laughs> okay, the square embodies qualities of hard work, diligence, and unwavering perseverance, consistently striving for, to attain 
goals. Their patient and systematic approach endows them with a mastery of skills, aligning with the characteristics of the proverbial left hemisphere thinkers who exhibit logical reasoning and a mathematical mindset. Squares adeptly dissect challenges and meticulously compute solutions. Relying on analytical assessment rather than instinctual or intuitive responses. The square's aspiration revolves around a well-structured and predictable existence. Unforeseen events and surprises are met with reluctance, as they prefer a controlled environment. Hmm. In professional settings, these individuals often excel as adept administrators and executives. Yet, their inclination to seek extensive information for decision-making impedes their ability to be agile. Hmm. Analysis paralysis, rendering them less effective in managerial roles. <laughs> that may be a relief to you. Okay, let's go with the next symbol. Ah, yes, the triangle. The triangle embodies the essence of leadership with a primary skill set that encompasses goal-oriented focus and the capacity to swiftly and deeply analyze various scenarios. This personality shape exudes remarkable confidence, striving for correctness across all endeavors. While triangles possess a penchant for absorbing knowledge, for absorbing knowledge readily and are receptive to training, they often struggle to acknowledge their own mistakes. Mm. Their career path serves as a source of purpose in their lives. However, potential downsides include a tendency towards excessive self-absorption. Triangles excel at effectively presenting the significance of their work to higher-ups and exhibit a knack for discerning lucrative business choices from a distance. In their pursuit of success, they might engage in assertive competition, occasionally clashing with rivals. No need to get into fist fights, folks. All right, so that's the square. Let's move on to the next symbol. Not exactly geometric if you're a squiggle. If you're the squiggle, the squiggle embodies the essence of creativity with a strong emphasis on imagery, operating from the proverbial right brain perspective, the squiggle avoids fixation on the minute. Don't want to be tattered down to details, thus simplifying their perception of the world. This inclination enables them to construct a holistic and harmonious conceptual understanding of the world, appreciating its innate beauty. There's benefits to being a squiggle. Remaining in a single location for extended periods of time proves challenging for the squiggle. They find the prospect, well, downright dull. Given the multitude of other captivating experiences and sites to explore, the primary aim of the squiggle is the generation of novel ideas and innovative approaches, rather than the execution of these concepts. Hmm. The squiggle's gaze is directed towards the future, driven by fascination with the potentialities that outweigh their preoccupation with reality. Are you one of those? <laughs> Let's take on our last one. Oh, yes. The rectangle. The rectangle embodies a transitional state between shapes serving as a bridge from one form to another. Individuals who identify with the rectangle shape tend to harbor dissatisfaction with their current lives and are actively seeking opportunities for improving their circumstances. The predominant state of the rectangle is characterized by a pervasive sense of confusion, weighed down by personal issues and unsettling lack of certainty. Uh, the rectangle Prominent traits among rectangles encompass 
tendencies towards inconsistent and unpredictable behavior, often accompanied by low self-esteem. Now nah, you're great. Notable positive attributes, on the other hand, include an encompassing curiosity, a thirst for knowledge, and a spirited fascination with a wide array of subjects, and a courageous disposition. Rectangles often engage in endeavors that push boundaries and explore uncharted territories, posing questions that they may not have had the resolve to ask before. So the rectangle, you're on the edge, man. All right, so you wrote down a geometric shape or a symbol, because of course not all of them were geometric if you want to conclude the squiggles out there. You wrote it down and you heard the narrative of what that symbol represents. Was there some truth in it for you? Was it you dead on? Or was it way off? In the comments down below, please do me a favor. This is research and I need your help. Write down the symbol that you chose and then let me know how accurate it was. I appreciate your time as always. And my friend, by close of business today, we will be halfway through our week. I hope the front side of your week has been productive. And I hope that the rest of the week is smooth sailing and you slide right on to a nice long weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right, long weekend. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday Morning Cup of Joe. And as always, lead well, my friend. Thank you.